There is no better place to have the world's strongest man classic competition here in America than Muscle Beach, the Santa Monica Pier. Because it has such an unbelievable history of decades and decades. People were lifting weights there, strong men were performing, acrobats were performing, muscle men were posing and flexing. So what other place to bring this championship to than to Santa Monica, to Muscle Beach and the Santa Monica Pier. It is a great spectator sport. It is fantastic for the athletes. And the people there can look at and watch how they lift the biggest weights and the heaviest weights and throw things around. The Muscle Beach started right here at the Santa Monica Pier and south of the Santa Monica Pier. And I wanted to bring back the activities, the muscles, the power, the strength, the talent. All this stuff back to the Santa Monica Pier, back to Muscle Beach. And that's what this is all about. So I am in absolute heaven that made my dream become a reality. But at the same time, we also have the world's strongest firefighters competition. So the world's strongest firefighters are coming together and they're competing for the title. The only bottom line is we want to see how strong a human being can get. So the first event here is the 385-pound Austrian Oak event. This is, of course, named after me because I was always called the Austrian Oak. It's unbelievable how strong they are. I mean, this is the guys that you will see later on that lift 300 pounds with one arm. 300 pounds. I mean, just so you know how much weight this is, this is like lifting Donald Trump out of his chair. <laughs> the amount of uh, fortitude it takes to get under some of the weight that these guys get under, to stand up some of the weight, you know, the, the confidence to know that they can get it up, this is an incredible sport. This is a very impressive lift because you see this wooden beam and you can actually adjust the weight because you can put on the outside some plates and add weights to it. It is really heavy. It's all pure power. And those firefighters, I tell you, they're such an inspiration, those firefighters. We have the best and the toughest firefighters and the most bright firefighters, the most courageous firefighters in the world. But now they come to the Santa Monica Pier and they can show to you how much they actually can lift and how much endurance they have and what speed they have and courage they have and how tough they are. You can see I mean, how wonderful they are and how much they can lift and what kind of energy they have. Yeah, and the firefighters did 175 pound log. Those are the guys that are the true action heroes, I call them. Yeah, thank you for your time here. Oh, yeah, fantastic. fantastic. With the world's strongest man coming together. <laughs> man, they're putting out fires, they're risking their lives, so I idolize them. They're my heroes. This is insane. I mean, this is truly an incredible sport. So here's one of my favorite lifts, it's called the Farmer's Walk. <laughs> I mean, think about this for a second. They have 400 pounds on each side, on each hand. I mean, it is wild of how much strength that takes, how much training, and how much grip strength. I mean, think about what it takes to hold on to these weights throughout the whole time as you take that walk. I mean, watch this.
He has a perfect example, Matt, how you can come, overcome any obstacle. Now, let's see the stone lift. Get really ballsy, okay, Miles? Go for it. Show it to us. Do it, Miles. You can do it. I mean, because this kid has really impressed the hell out of me. And I think that this is a really inspirational when someone like Miles does something like that because of his handicap and his low body weight to have this strength. It shows that anyone can do it. So there's really, what he's basically saying is, look, if I can do it, then all of you can do it. And now the professionals are coming up and they throw the sandbag over a 15 foot pole. I mean, this is really wild. And they start out with a lower weight and then they work their way all the way up to 90 pound sandbags and throw that over this pole. I mean, this takes a lot of coordination, it takes speed, and it takes power, and it takes a lot of will. Here's Eddie Williams, I mean my favorite. The guy is so powerful. But as powerful as he is, that's how gentle he is with his voice. I mean, he has a voice of an angel. I mean, watch this firefighters now carrying a 200 pound sandbag as long as they can. I mean, just to hold on to the sandbag is almost impossible. And then they go and carry it for as long as they can. I mean, just watch this now. Very inspirational. And she is unbelievable. A firefighter. And, I mean, she is as strong as the guys. Well, here is an event coming up called the deadlift. And we have on a bar 775 pounds. Now imagine, they warm up a little bit backstage, but then they come out and they start out with 775 pounds. And not to do one rep, but as you will see now, many reps. Firefighters are lifting 405 pounds and do as many reps as possible. So anyone that is a little bit prejudiced about women being weaker, <laughs> watch this. Diagnosed with ALS at the age of 20.
29, just one month after our wedding. ALS patients eventually lose the ability to walk, to talk, to eat, and to breathe. We are truly thankful to be here today and we hope together we can create the powerful policy change that is so desperately needed. Please help us ax ALS. I don't know how many of you have heard of ALS, but it's a disease. It's horrible. We're going to donate a thousand dollars per rep. We need you guys to have Camacho take this thing to the moon. And we had kind of a fundraiser and they said that if someone lifts a certain amount of weight that it will give ten thousand dollars. I then came in and matched it right away because when I saw uh, this guy with this problem I said to myself well, anything I can do to help I will help. And then someone else came in, uh, Joe Manganiello and with Sophia came in and also matched the 10,000, so we raised $30,000 right there for them, which was really, really great. Now here's an interesting event that most of you maybe have not seen, and that is carrying a sandbag, picking up a sandbag and just so you know the weight, they started with 300 pounds, 350 pounds, up to 400 pounds. It takes a lot of finger strength, hand strength, forearm strength, bicep strength, lower back strength. I mean, the whole body has to be coordinated and really lifting this weight. I mean, it's wild and it's really, really heavy. we did it was with all of you because remember there's no such thing as a self-made man everyone gets help if you helped us realize how i've been here today thank you very much thank you martins <laughs> That's the way he calls himself always, Martins. I mean, he did it again. Well, last year, last year said, I'll be back. What do you say this year? I'll be back. I mean, it's wild. This is the second year in a row. He comes in here and he steals the show. That guy is really, really great.